What's up guys, it's Cole. Just thought I'd record this little video to show you the newest part of my setup. So here it is. This is my new webcam, the Logitech Brio. Which means, you get to see this much more clearly. I'm sorry. What's going on guys, it's Cole. And welcome to week number three of the Global Pokemon Society. Alright, so this week it is the Drift Vale City Dragapults who are currently sitting at one win and one loss, facing off against the Vero Beach Volcaronas who are currently sitting at zero wins and two losses. Last week we beat Katie and the Den for Ninetales, and Ed lost to. Juan and the Miami Heatrans. So, let's check out the teams. Alright, so for the squad we have Well, as you can see that just flew in front of the screen, Picasso our shiny Naganadel. We have Chompy, the shiny Dracovish. We have Funky Kong, the G-Max Rillaboom, the newest member of the squad, Nimbus the Altaria. Blue, the shiny Tyrantrum, and Goldfinger, the shiny Sableye. Alright, so I will see you in the battle. One eternity later. Alright guys, we are just about to select our team members, so let's look at the squad he's bringing. So, he has Tapu Koko, Alolan Raichu, Cantonian Articuno, G-Max Cinderace, whatever type it's going to be, Silvalli, and Coma O. So we have Funky Kong with the Assault Vest, Chompy with the Choice Scarf, Picasso with the Life Orb, Goldfinger with the Rocky Helmet, Altaria with the Leftovers, and Blue with the Weakness Policy. Alright, so we are leading off with Picasso and Goldfinger with Funky Kong and Choppy in the back. All right, so I will see you when the battle starts. All right, so here we go. He leads off with G-Max Cinderace, ooh, shiny G-Max Cinderace, and Alolan Raichu. We lead off, like I had said, with Picasso and Goldfinger. So just like last week, Let's see if this is going to work, because I plan on ally switching. So let's see if it's going to work like it did last week. I was very surprised last week when it worked two times in a row. Don't know if I'm going to be able to do that again this week, but we'll see. Yep, so I added uh, Quash, and I had taken out Fake Out. Alright, so we go for the max on Naganadel, which also shows that he is not maxing on the first turn. So Raichu went for Fake Out on Goldfinger. Don't know why he did that, considering that's a normal type move, and Goldfinger is a ghost type. And boom. There we go. Ally Switch worked for one of them, because he screwed up on the first attack. Okay. So, again, Nadal gets the first KO of the battle with Max Wormwind on the Cinderace. And now we get plus one from the beast boost. Alright, so he goes with Sylph Ally, and that is definitely a fairy type. Yep, fairy type. So that's not too terrible for Goldfinger. Sorry, for Picasso, but it's not great for Goldfinger. Alright, so let's see what I do. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so yep, I go for the ally switch again. Let's see if that works. And then I go for the max ooze on the Sylph ally. And he's maxing, I'm guessing, the Sylph ally. So let's find out. Yep, yeah, okay. So Sylph ally maxes. Yep, so we go for the ally switch, and, okay, it worked, and, alright, so we get the max ooze, it doesn't KO, we get the plus one special attack, and ally, swart, ally switch worked very well for us this turn. So, now I go for the max use on the Silver Ally. Hopefully they get the KO. Unless it max guards to burn my last turn of Dynamax. Okay, yeah, so he goes to, for the max guard to burn my final turn of Dynamax. I go for the Ally switch to see if it'll work third time in a row, and it doesn't. So, Ally Switch worked twice for us, and he hits us with the Thunderbolt, and we get the Paralysis. Lovely. Okay. So now, Sylph Ally will definitely be faster than us. Don't really have any great switch ins. Grassy Surge up. And Silver Ally is done with Dynamax. Alright, so we go for the taunt on the Silver Ally. Just I don't know. Just just in case, whatever. I don't know what it would have hit. And we go for the Grassy Glide on Sylph Ally. So, yep, alright, so we get the KO on the Sylph Ally. And since the Sylph Ally fainted, we get the Taunt Off onto the Raichu. Raichu hits Goldfinger with Thunderbolt, taking it about 10, 12, 13 HP under half. We get the left. The grassy terrain, not the leftovers. And he goes with Coma O.
Alright, so we get the quash off on the Raichu. Como is faster, gets off an ice punch. No freeze, please. Okay, good. We get the high, high horsepower off on Raichu and bring it down to Sash. So, alright. And then Raichu gets off the Thunderbolt to KO Goldfinger. So now, it's two on two. Raichu and Koma-O versus Funky Kong and Choppy. So when Ryan does post his video, I will put the link to the video in the description, but I will also have the link to the Society's YouTube page in the description. So, alright, so we go obviously with Chompy because that's the only thing we have left. Chompy has Ficious Rend, Crunch, Outrage, and Iron Head. Iron Head to deal with fairies. So we go with Outrage. And then, so we'll get the Grassy Glide off into the Raichu. So Outrage will hit Coma O. It may KO, I'm not sure. Alright, so we get the Grassy Glide off into Raichu to pick up that KO. And let's see if Outrage KOs the Coma O since it can be kind of physically bulky. And yep, okay. So we get the KO on the Coma O from full. And I will see you in game two. Alright, guys, welcome to game two. So, first battle didn't go too badly. Let's see if we can keep the momentum up in the second battle. We're going to lead off with Funky Kong and Picasso. Or not be or not. Nope, Funky Kong and Goldfinger with Picasso and Chompy in the back. Alright, so let's get going. Alright, so he has the same leadoff, Cinderace and Raichu, and now it's versus Funky Kong and Goldfinger. So we get the Grassy Surge up. So let's see what's going to happen, shall we? Taking some time to edit the layout. All right, so he goes for the the max on. So he goes for the G-Max on Cinderace. Awesome. He's 
So, alright, so we go for the Quash on the Raichu. And Cinderace is faster. And Massacre is Fungi Khan. So, okay. That happened. Not the way we wanted it to go down. Raichu gets off the Thunderbolt. Gets a high roll. We go for Chompy. So we go for the Ficious Rend into Cinderace, which I'm pretty sure should KO. And then we go for the Ally Switch. So we get the ally switch off. Get the Fish's Friend off into Cinderace, which KOs it in one shot. And that is why we like Fish's Rend, because it's deadly. And Thunderbolt goes off, so okay. So that didn't work out too well for us, but you know what? We got rid of Cinderace, so that's all that matters. Alright, so let's see who he's going to send out now. And he goes with Sylvala. Alright, so we go for the Fish's Rend into the Silvalli, which doesn't get the KO. And Silvalli KOs Choppy with multi attack. So that didn't work out. And Raichu gets the Thunderbolt off, which will KO Goldfinger. So yeah. So it's Picasso versus the world. So Picasso versus three Pokemon. Silvelli, Raichu, and his fourth. So we go for the max. Raichu gets the Psychic off, which does a ton of damage. We get the max use off into Sylvalli to get the KO. 
but it's not gonna matter because we can't outspeed Raichu, which means it's game over. So, game two will go to Ed. Let's just see what his fourth is, and then we will. I, I will see you in game three. Okay, so his fourth is Tabu Coco. So I will see you in game three. All right, so welcome to game three. So we are leading Picasso and Goldfinger with Altaria and Funky Kong in the background. Don't know why I chose to bring Altaria considering he doesn't have a weather setter, so it really doesn't matter. Because that's the whole reason I have Altaria. But we'll see what happens. All right, so, and here is the leadoff I was expecting at some point. Raichu and Tapu Koko, because Tapu Koko has Electric Surge, and Raichu's ability, Surge Surfer, doubles its speed on Electric Terrain. So with Tapu Koko, it gets it off right away. So the plan is to take out the Raichu, or at least take it down to Sash. And this is definitely where Fake Out would have helped, because that would have broken the Sash. But, you know, that's fine. I'll swap out a move and add Fake Out instead. So we get the quash off onto the Raichu to make sure it goes last. Tapu Koko get, hits Wild Charge, takes us down to just below half, takes damage from the Rocky Helmet, and takes recoil damage. Pretty sure that's the first time he saw that we have the Rocky Helmet. Alright, so we take Raichu down to Sash. Raichu's gonna hit us probably with Psychic. Yep, okay, so Raichu gets the Psychic off, taking us to a little below half. We go for the Max Ooze into Raichu to boost our special attack before it gets KO'd. So then we'll be sitting at plus two. So once again, we quash the Raichu. Tapu Koko goes for a weakened wild charge, which is why we hung on at 3 HP, even with the electric terrain up. We get the max ooze off into the Raichu, so we'll get the plus one special attack from the max ooze, and then the w plus one special attack from Raichu going down with the beast boost. Alright, so he goes for Cinderace. So I 
go for the Maktus and Cinderace because that scares me more than Tapu Koko. Considering all Tapu Koko has really done is Wild Charge. So I quash the Cinderace. Tapu Koko hits U-Turn. KO's Goldfinger. Takes the Rocky Helmet damage. And goes back to Ed. Alright, so then he sends out his fourth, which is Sylvalai. Now it's down to 3-3. Three to three. So we get the Max Ooze off into Cinderace, which KOs out. KOs it. So we are now sitting at plus one, plus three special attack. And now that it's KO'd, we're sitting at plus four. Alright, so we go to send out Funky Kong, and he brings out Tapu Koko again. So now it's two on two. Sorry, three on two. I'm an idiot. Alright, so we get the grassy terrain off from Rillaboom. And Ganondel has done its Dynamax. So we go for the Flamethrower. Into Sylvalai. And the Grassy Glide into Tapu Koko. Okay, so. He maxes Sylvalai. The Grassy Glide will definitely KO the Tapu Koko. But I'm not sure if Flamethrower will KO Sylvalai. Okay, so it doesn't KO Sylvalai. And Sylvalai... Yep, KOs it with... Oh, max one wind. Okay. So that's not too bad then. Alright, so. Now it's Altaria and Funky Kong versus Sylvalai. Alright, so we go for the Cotton Guard on... Altaria. But, alright, you know what? So, I'm kind of crunched for time, so I'll just get this out of the way now. Um, yeah, so we lose. Riddle Boom ends up being the last one against Sylvia Ally, because Altaria can't do much. Um, Sylvia Ally is faster than us. It takes us out with two multi-attacks, but we also had it down to, like, red health after a couple, uh, high horsepowers. So, yeah. Uh, next week we got Brian, we got Brian, good job, Ryan. So, that's gonna be some hardcore prepping. Not looking forward to this battle, considering we lost to him last season. So, thanks for watching, guys. Would've really liked to get a win this week, but... It is what it is. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye.